What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk a bit about the fair arena because some things may change in the future because many players find it really RNG based and this is also my case because let me explain that to you. Uh, first day I had Nicolas on the first day okay so I, I won some fights really easy on the first day but then everybody had a space folk uh, popper or uh, a Sindo and so the turn meta boosters give you a huge advantage uh, this is the best heroes you can have uh, the earlier the best uh, in fact three great heroes then you have Esther she can help and you have other tanky units such as Lydia, Nordak, uh, Nicholas and if you have them all and also NG3 if you have them all you are pretty pretty safe and then you need only damage dealers but you have many solutions so uh, I haven't been lucky and they might change some things because uh, it took a lot of time to me and for many players to acquire some heroes with the coins we earned through the battles, right? Um, so they are, they are thinking about increasing the amount of coins we can get every day and so we will be able to buy more heroes. Second thing, they are thinking about making the list completely change after a refresh because today when you refresh if i have madalena here she can be on the next rotation of the higher store and this is breaking things in fact because if you refresh this is because you don't want the heroes on the list right so they are thinking about changing that. Nothing is 100% uh, sure. Uh, they, are, they didn't say that they are going to change that, but it's, it's in discussion at the moment. So maybe it's going to change in the future. These two things, the hero rotations and more coins. It's, it can be really, really interesting. So tell me where you are situated at the moment in the comment below. I'm pretty curious to see, to know. If you want to have an example, on the last rotation, I finished top 9. And here I am top 367. But tomorrow is going to be the end, the last day. And I made all my battles today. So probably I'm not going to be part of the top 50. Uh, that's the game. I'm not mad at it, but... Uh, just to say this is really really random and I was really lucky last time to uh, end a uh, top 9 This is the game. This is the game. It, it's it's interesting. I love this content I love to do my battles every day But the thing is the first days are a bit boring because you you don't have many heroes and one lineup two lineup the second day three lineups on the third day and if you don't have the key units at the beginning then you feel like the battles are boring and you are forced to lose right uh, so if we can acquire the heroes faster it's gonna be more uh, uh, more interesting Second thing, it's not part of the fair play arena, but I want to talk about that also because uh, it's impacting many players on the championship and they are uh, talking about both championship and fair play arena because they know that they are, there is too many RNG around the fight. Here, this is the case in the championship. If you have a look to the group stages, I don't know if we can see. Okay, if you have your Nazil in the right team, then you are 100% sure to win this team, right? Uh, because you can place your teams in one position, at position 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and depending on the RNG, you are going to be placed against uh, the opponent team if here you have a pauline if you have a popper instead of in front of pauline then your popper normally should win or maybe you are using a pauline with popper etc so depending on the team you are facing you are lucky you can be lucky or unlucky and this is mainly based on that then you have the, the stat the sanctuary the gear on your heroes etc the heroes you are playing the heroes you have but when you have all the heroes and with great gear, and this is the case for mainly um, the main players in the top 64, then for these players, it's really RNG based. And at the moment, yeah, they are some Krakens, but they are a bit fed up about that. Tell me what you think about that in the comment below. Also, I'm curious to have your opinion. 
So that was all for the video. That was a short one in order to talk about the future changes of the Fair Play Arena. Uh, they are not uh, telling us that they are going to change anything about the championship, but maybe in the future they are going to change it just a bit so it won't be uh, as RNG as today. It would be interesting maybe if they decide to ban one or two heroes on player's uh, vote for one or two heroes that we can ban and then maybe it's going to be more interesting. So if we can ban, ban Nazil for example, it's going to change many things because Nazil today, as I said, Nazil, Pauline, the two heroes that are ruining the, uh, the experience of this content in fact. Because if you have a Pauline and he, if he is in the right position, you are forced to win normally and same comment for your Nazil. Or maybe if you have uh, the same team in front of you, yeah, the guy with the best stats or RNG during the fight is gonna win. So that was all for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If it's the case, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Have a nice day and see you soon. Bye-bye.